Hello, my name is Res Mani. I'm from Allied Scientific Pro, and today I want to demonstrate to you how you can measure with uh, NeverScan uh, spectrophotometer uh, ingredients of uh, fruits, uh, pieces of fabric, and also fat in body parts. So, uh, this is just a demo software, and this is the NeverScan instrument over here. So we have it here in an iPod Touch. Uh, so here is our software icon, DeepScan. This is the app icon. It's called DeepScan. So you just go there and we would uh, go to the setting first of all to see if it is connected. So let's go to the setting. It's connecting to the cloud, so basically all the calibration curves are in the cloud. So here's go set by nano, so you can see that it detects the serial number for this instrument. So once it detects that, then we can go to the home button, and then we would uh, it would actually download some reference calibration data from the cloud, and we would start with uh, fruits. And you can see for fruits, you have three calibration files, apple, mango, and date. So we have apples here. We try with two different apples. Uh, it should measure the glucose content in bricks. So we would just put the instrument on top of the apple, apple, and then I redo the, the scanning. So it's the scanning. And it got the, the spectrum. It compares it with the calibration. And it came up with 14.7 bricks and terms it at very sweet. So next one we tried a different apple and we will see, you also see that the lights are coming out of this when I press this button. So it measures the reflectance from the surface of the apple. So this is the second apple. I You can just see that the lights are coming out and it's receiving the data and it's 15.1 uh, bricks. So this apple is sweeter than this apple. This is the result of this test. Now we try with different types of uh, fabrics. So we just go back to the fabric calibration curve and choose cloth and try with the pink. And press the button. So it's receiving the data. This is a kind of a curve it gets and it says 12.6 percent cotton now for the red one we just repeat the same thing receiving the data is 13.3 percent cotton now this piece of rag should have more cotton in it compared to these two so let's measure from this as well Pressing the button and it's showing 37.2% of cotton for this one. Uh, so it could distinguish between various degrees of uh, glucose and also various degrees of cotton. Finally, I want to do a measurement from my hand uh, to see what's the fat content on my body. So I'll go to the health and there is a calibration curve for body fat. And then this should be of no problem because this is diffuse, incoherent light from a halogen tungsten lamp. So it should not affect anything. It's not dangerous for your body. So I'll just press, press the button. And it says 22.7%. Actually, this result didn't come out to be well because it says frivolous, which means meaningless. So it didn't register the data properly. Let's try again. It says frivolous. We'll continue on this one. Uh, so let's try.
yeah, this one is registered. So 25.7% and it, uh, it, it categorized it as chubby. Uh, so basically this shows that uh, we can try to find different ingredients from fruits, uh, uh, fabrics, uh, body parts, and also for uh, me medicines, you could also uh, examine different types of pills for their ingredients. And there are other calibration curves as well, such as for polymers like plastics and uh, oil, uh, pharmaceuticals, and so on. I hope you find this video useful. And as I mentioned, the software is only for demo purposes. It's not available. You have to develop your own software. But this was an introduction to the capabilities of NeuroScan Photospectrometer. Thank you.